Hello everyone. In this course, we will be exploring the Gradio application in depth. How you can use Gradio to make the AI project. Okay, we will be doing total 10 project, different kind of project. It's very interesting, you will see that. And we will be using all the open source model which are free like Hugging Face, Hugging Face has different model, Facebook model, Bart model, different companies have published the trained on like billions of records. They have trained data, they have made open source. We will be using the, that using Gradio, using Hugging Face and we will be also making one of the project making a chat bot using React JS and the chat GPT. Okay, the free model. Okay, so we will be doing that. So let's see what kind of project that we are going to make. Here you can see that we will be first making a simple application which you will type. This is Gradio, a simple application. This is a chat interface where you will type your name. It will give you this output here. This is what to do. So here if you type oh, I want to do this, it will give you this output. This is, this is a simple example of the chat interface. Then we will be making that uh, how we can use summarization text. Okay, using distilled BART open source model, how you can summarize the text. This here, we will give the input. This here, it will give in the summary format. Okay, this is related to the Eiffel Tower. It will give me in the summary format. This is one of the things we can do. This is the interface. This is live interface. This you can integrate in your API, in your project, in your uh, in your React JS course or any uh, app application you made, you can integrate it. Okay. This is also you can make it in the you can write the summary text in the Python Jupyter notebook itself. It will give output like this. This is the summary of this. And here this is an interface kind of thing. This is quite useful. If some of the people don't know, if your client doesn't know the the coding part, they can just use the live API to do the summary text and all. You can integrate it in your mobile app as well. Okay, then we are going to see, then we are going to see the birth base NER where we can recon if someone passed has given a sentence, the sentence can contain what type of word. It's a person, it's a location, uh, this kind of things we can identify it. It's a company name. So we can identify that those types of things here. This is very useful for the data. Like if you have messy data, you want to identify that which type of data is this. If you have like suppose someone has given a review or someone has a, you have a paragraph, you have a, uh, you have certain like suppose hundred lines of code, hundred thousand lines of lines you have. You want to find out the what are the location mentioned, what are the person name mentioned. You can use this API. This is an open source model. It has been trained of billions of record. It has been trained and we are going to use that open source model. Okay, then we will exp then we will explore ble bleep image captioning where you can pass the image and it will tell you what does the image contain. Here I have passed this image. You can see it has showing dog wearing a Santa hat and a red scarf. You can see. So this is also very useful. It has plenty of uh, options like you can make it for blind person. You can make that app for that person for optical re recognition. You can make that you can integrate with there are many application to converting image to text. Okay. For language conversion and all the things you can do that. Okay. And next we will next we will be using a stable diffusion model where we'll pass the text. It will convert into the image. So cool. Huh? Here I pass photograph and a student riding in horse. You can see that it has given. This is it has very it has many uses. Okay, like you can you, you can make your own app where you make your artificial image or make your greeting cards. These are many there are many use cases of it converting text to image and these are all open source. You can use that free of cost. Okay, then we will be making. Then we'll be making a ch a chatbot using radio. Okay, using open API in lang chain. We will be making. Okay, so here suppose if you ask the question, what is the capital of South Africa? It's a 
Pretoria. It's a capital. It's a. It's you can say that this is one. Uh, South Africa has two capital. So one of the capital is this Pretoria. So you can ask any questions. It, it, so we are using this GPT 3.5 Turbo. Okay, this is one of the application. Then we will be making the React JS application. We will be making the React ch Chat GPT. Okay. So you can ask any question the React GPT. It is also GPT 3.5 Turbo. That is the free version. You can use it, and we will be making the React Chat GPT. And uh, I will also explain the code of the React that how we had made it, and the process on a few steps. So we will uh, we will be exploring other project as well. So this is the overall of this course. So I hope you are excited for this course. You will learn a lot using Gradio and how you can make your own projects. Projects in Gradio and open source model. I will also show you what are the open source models and how you can use it. I mean, I I will also explore the. I will also teach you about the theoretical parts of the all the applications, not just the coding part, theoretical and coding in detail. Okay, so I am very excited to teach you all. So thank you. Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see what is the significance of Gradio. So Gradio is like when you want to show your machine learning model, you need Jupyter, you need code to show your Jupyter. It will not very friendly way to show your machine learning model in a Jupyter. So Gradio provides such interface so that you just write the few liner code. And anyone who is not aware of the code and all, they can just use your interface to do the things like image processing, image classification, chatbot, or also you can create the API which you can use in your own system, in your own application. You don't have to worry about the, again we have to write the code and again have to do anything. So Gradius provides like very beautiful features, like you just write few lines of code in python it will give an interface which you can use for your machine learning model machine learning model or it will give you an api as well so that you can use it okay for your machine learning model in your, in your android app or your web development app you can use it okay so how to use gradio first you need to install pip install gradio then you are in a Jupyter node in Google Colab. You can just use, use pip install Gradio. And if you are using Jupyter Notebook, then use pip install Gradio. So it will install the Gradio. And that's it. Then how you can do it? You can say that import Gradio as ZRA here. Diff user. This is like a simple Python. Diff user greeting name. This is a, a function. Which will which will accept the parameter name and here it will return this. And then how you can create the in, this is a simple interface. I am showing you how does the Gradio works. This simple method. This is not a machine learning model. This is simple method. Here we are passing the function name. What is the function name? User greeting. This user greeting we are passing. Input it will ex it, it will expect input text and output will be the text format okay so this is how it will look and app dot launch if you do it will launch the app it will give out the interface where you can pass the name and it will show you this so you don't need like each time if you want to uh, change the name you have to run the function no it will give you interface that you can execute it multiple times okay so let's see uh, in the next section how does the code look like thank you Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see the simple method of Gradio. How you can use Gradio. First of all, you need to install pip install Gradio. It will take some time, like maybe around one minute. It will take. Then it will install in in Google Colab. It will simply it will install it. You don't have to worry about it. Then once it get installed, this is you have to do import Gradio as GRA. This is the function name. Here you can pass your name and welcome to your Gradio application. Welcome to your uh, first Gradio 
uh, first Gradio application may all welcome to your wonderful Gradio application. And here this is uh, we will discuss more about this interface. What does it the functionality of this? But for the time being, let's understand this. Uh, this is the function name we are passing here. It will accept the input type text and it will give output text. And this is launch the interface. Okay, so let's see. It also depends upon uh, the depends upon the system or maybe depends on the which features you are using. Maybe you have a pro version of Gulab, then it will run fast. Otherwise, it will take some time. So let's suppose here I type Rahul Kumar. So it's, uh, once I submit this, it will show Hi Rahul Kumar, welcome to wonderful Gradio X application. Okay. This uh, you can also use with this API as well. Okay, once you open in the new tab, you can see this. You can see this here in this user. Here you can also type what is your name? Let's suppose John. So type this. Hi John, welcome to. So this live API you can use in your own system as well. Okay. And this live API will be available for 22 hours. If you want to upgrade it or make it permanent hostess, you can create a premium version in hugging face dot spaces. And this will be the permanent live API. You can use your own application, your Android app. These are the things you can use it. You know how oh, this is wonderful. So this is so simple to use, right? You just use, use this and you can create, you can customize this also. We will see this customization in the later part. So I hope you and you liked it. So thank you for watching. Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see the Gradio interface. Okay. So what is the use of the Gradio interface? Okay. And how does it look like? So Gradio interface is kind of, you can see the high level class. It will allow us to create the GUI graphical user interface for your machine learning model. You can use any machine open source machine learning model and it will give you the interface so that you can use it. Otherwise, you need to write the Jupyter notebook, you write to write the program. Suppose if the non programming guys you want to sell your product, how you can sell your product, it will not be visible. They have to write the code. Your client needs to write the code. So that is not feasible solution. So how you can make it more friendly, more user friendly. So you can use the Gradio interface. Okay. So, so Gradio interface has three parts. Mainly it has other parts also, but we we'll look into the three parts. The first is it will accept the function. Here it could be the model name also machine learning model name or it could be the function name. And inside that function there could be machine learning model that we, we can we can use. And second is the input. It will accept the input here that and this is the output. Okay, so let's see it. So input how does what type of the input it will accept? It can accept text. It can accept image or it can accept others also miscellaneous things also. And if you did not pass any things, none, then input will be not shown in the graphical user interface. So on and uh, now coming to the output or uh, what kind of output can give it can give output as image. Suppose you made a chatbot where you can convert in text to image. You're, you're typing like, okay, give me an image of mountain. So you are typing text, it will give output as image. Second is text, text to text, like kind of chatbot. You are interacting with the chatbot. Third is label, like you are, you are giving an image in the input and it will give you the label, like it is a dog or it is a horse, that kind of label. And if you give none, then it will not show anything. Okay. So it will not show anything in the graphical user interface. Okay, so this is all about the graphical user interface. In the next session, we will see the different type of graphical interface. We will mostly focus on the tab 
interface we'll see in the next section so thank you for watching hi everyone in this one we are going to see the types of gradio interface okay so gradio interface provides like tabbed interface parallel interface series interface okay so parallel interface is kind of thing where you can you execute things parallelly okay tabbed interface you you have a different kind of a tab like uh you you could have a different kind of a tab means like that uh you can say that there will be one tab in the google chrome like there is one tab another tab do another function it is like that series is like that where you executed something and the next step certain things will be executed like uh, suppose you have given an image and image it will convert into a text and that text again that will convert into an image like a series of function that is happening at the same time parallel is like you are doing two things simultaneously okay you are converting text to image or you are converting to text to identify that okay it's a positive or it's a negative things like a kind of sentiment analysis you can do do parallelly but here we will focus currently on the tabbed interface later we will see see in this section series also okay so let's see the tabbed interface how does it look like so tabbed interface will look like something like this where you are passing multiple function here we have shown two function this is like diffuser greek name is a one function diffuser help is another function and it will accept input text output text input text answer this is the interface in the first interface i am giving user greeting input text output text in the second interface i am also giving the this method user help input text output text now here the gradio provide the tabbed interface where you can combine these two interface one and interface two so it will be app one app two and uh, you can give the name of the first tab welcome and the second tab you can give what to do okay this is the tab name okay and this will launch it so how does it will look like it will look something like this you see first tab is welcome here you can give name name it will give you output here you can give what to do the tab it will give you to, to do here you you type something what you want to do and it will give you the output okay so this is the things and uh, uh, if you go to the previous slide here you you can see that uh this one here you see user get in what is the function name here name what is the parameter name here name what is the parameter name here do so you can see that here the parameter name is do uh, here the the welcome name is the name here here is the do okay and this is the output that we are passing okay so i hope this is clear in the next section we will see the code of it